says, welcome to our party 2021. My name is Trey. Today, using the box that our supplies came in, we will build a diorama or 3D landscape like this one. This project is inspired by the Piazzoni murals at the De Young Museum. You can pause this video at any time. Here's Jill, who will show us how to get started. Hi, I'm Jill. I'm excited to share this project with you. Let's start by taking a closer look at some murals at the museum for inspiration. Let's walk into the Piazzoni mural room at the De Young Museum. On the east wall, you can see the land mural with its golden rolling hills. And on the west wall, the sea mural looking towards the Pacific Ocean, just like the San Francisco landscape. Let's look closer at one panel. Gotardo Piazzoni painted these calm landscapes in a style known as California Modern in 1931. He seems to have left out many of the details that describe the reality of being in nature. So, let's imagine that this place came to life. What types of animals and plants might live here? What sounds would you hear? How would you feel in this San Francisco seaside scene? As a painter myself, these are some of the questions that I think about. Here is my painting inspired by my favorite place to hike in the Oakland Hills. I've included some clues about human impact on nature. Can you find some of my clues? This painting also inspired my out-of-the-box diorama project. Now it's your turn to choose a landscape or an ecosystem that inspires you. In California, some examples are the mountains, the coast, the forest, or the desert. What are the dominant features of your environment? In my painting, the dominant features are here the hills and the trees, the large electric towers and bulldozers. Hmm. Humans have been here. What are the dominant colors in the landscape? The dominant colors are different shades of yellows and greens with a bright blue sky. What types of animals and plants live in this place? Well, there are cows. Are those wild animals? I know I've spotted rabbits and turkeys, coyotes and owls on my hikes. And once I even saw a king snake climbing a tree. You will need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, brushes, china marker, colored pencils, sharpener, scissors, tape and glue, cup of water. Let's begin by painting natural textures on our watercolor paper. Divide your paper into four sections. In each section, we're going to paint a different texture or color. First, I will add a lot of water to one section to create a watery texture. Next, I might use the smaller brush to try to paint fur for an animal or grass for a hill. With your family, make a list of all of the animals, plants, and land, earth, or water forms found within your ecosystem. You may want to gather some pictures of these things. You can also use the paints and painted paper from your Blend the Rules project. I'm going to use the china marker to draw the outline of an owl on this paper that I painted with coffee during the Blend the Rules project. Next, I will cut out my drawing by cutting around the feathers. You don't need to cut out all of the details. Finally, I will use these edges of the paper to make two L-shaped stands. Attach them to the back with tape or glue and stand up my owl. 
You can start with a pencil or you can go ahead and use your china marker to create your mountain or hill shape. And then I can go ahead and cut it out. Now using some of these extra edges, I can create the L shapes for the back. One other thing you can do is you can add some colored pencil details to your design. Maybe some trees. Bigger in the front, smaller as they go back in space up the mountain. Now you can place the different parts of your ecosystem inside your box. Use your imagination to create stories about your landscape and the animals that live there. How will your ecosystem change during the day or night or throughout the seasons? How might humans help or hurt this ecosystem? What message does your art tell about the environment? Thank you for joining me today. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make. This is my landscape oil spill. In my landscape, I wanted to show how beautiful nature is. I also wanted to show how water pollution can hurt us. This is a forest, so I think they might cut down some of the trees and hurt it, but they could plant new ones and make it better again.